Hey everybody, it's your good friend Lukey, and I recently wrote a book, Inside the Ropes of Boxing, with a foreword by Jill Diamond of the WBC Cares. Oh, that's me right there. Anyways, it's on Amazon. Be sure to check it out. Tell me about your motivations when you come into the gym. Uh, my motivations when I come in the gym is like, I know I got a, um, I know I got a goal and I want to get to that goal. And I promised my grandma before she died that I was going to become a world champion. So I got to keep up my promise. Maybe nine or 10. And I told her I wasn't going to break the promise. So I got to do what I got to do to become a world champion. These gloves Fernando Vargas gave me when I went to Vegas, sparred in the gym. He gave me these. He said I was a special fighter after I got done sparring. So he gave me these gloves. These 18 ounce gloves, these were gloves that um, Andre Berto was sparring in for the, which fight was that? The Devin Alexander fight. He was sparring in these gloves and after camp, at the end of camp, he said I can have these. Cause then I was about 10 years old and I just started using them now cause I wasn't big enough to use them back then. Let's see, you know, he's been, he's been boxing for a long time now. Um, since a very early age, we've had ups and downs, um, we've had tears, we've had smiles, we've had injuries, you name it, we've pretty much seen it all. Um, sparring older guys at a very early age because of his size. Um, it was hard to get like a lot of local fights early on because he's young but he's heavy so that was a struggle in itself you know we would get ready for a fight think we have a fight and then the people pull out or they see his size and then they withdraw the day of the fight so you name it we've seen it all uh, we got a good relationship and the sacrifice we both make is to put time in the gym. We both put time in the gym, take time out of our day, boxing, watch boxing. Everything is based around boxing, basically. When he's grinding, I'm grinding. Um, and like I say, we have good days and we have bad days, but we just keep going. We're in too deep now to stop or turn around. Um, so, you know, we're trying to do our time in the amateurs and pass through. Um, he's actually been around greatness from the Andre Berto's and the Devin Haney's and the Stevenson Shakur's and, you know, he's been around quite a bit to be so young. So we're extremely fortunate and blessed to have been around some of these talented fighters and learn from them. Um, you know, see what they go through because we're on the same journey as them. Um, they've already reached a certain plateau that we're trying to get to. So by seeing them, the way they live and the way they work, it's just motivation for us. Like if they can do it, so can we. Uh, it changed my mindset like I gotta work even harder now because I'm about to start fighting international so an in international competition is way harder than USA competition so I gotta be more on point than I am at a regular national tournament and in an international tournament. Um, I started working with him he, he wasn't even out of toddler years and so one year I got him some Christmas toys and he had a heavy bag with a bullseye on it and we hung it up on the door on the doorknob and it was battery operated so every time you punch it it would make a like a little song a little you know a kid song or some noise and it would light up he didn't really play with the other toys for too long but every day that that heavy bag and those batteries 
If he didn't have that, it was going to be a problem with the crying and the yelling and screaming. So to keep him calm, to keep the house quiet, he had to be on that heavy bag. Uh, I saw some movements in him early on um, that some things you can't teach. Some things are just God given. So when I noticed that, I kind of honed in on it a little bit more because basically it was to start just for self-defense, but went to a whole different level. And so even with my older son, he learned how to box, um, but his, his God-given ability was football. So he could fight, but his thing was football. This one here, it's the opposite. So he played Pop Warner football. Um, we would be leaving the boxing gym sometimes, changing clothes, going to football practice. But he seemed to take off in this more so than in football. I remember one Saturday he played a game in San Leandro, California. We left from San Leandro and drove, I believe it was to Stockton, California. Right after he played, he got in the back seat of a Tahoe. He went to sleep and got out and fought in Stockton, California. He won. Uh, three years from now, starting off my pro career, going pro. I think I want to go pro around 18, 19.